In this video, we will show you how to chain up a coughing LHH hand chain hoist. Before we get started, let's discuss why you would need to chain up a hoist. One reason would be if the chain is damaged or worn and needs to be changed out. You may also need to chain up a hoist if you want to change or customize the lift. So, let's get started. First, you'll need to decide the length, grade, and size of the chain you need. It's important to ensure you use the correct chain as specified by the hoist manufacturer. Once you have this piece of chain, hang the hoist on a trolley or hook and remove the cotter pin and anchor pin from the hoist. You should also remove the hook. From here, there are two ways to rechain the unit. The first way is to use a C-link. Attach the C-link to the end of the chain you want to remove. You will also attach the C-link to the new chain. Next. Advance the old chain through the hoist, allowing the new chain to follow. While doing this, it is important to ensure the upstanding link's weld orientation is facing away from the lift wheel. Continue advancing the chain through the unit until you have a sufficient amount through the hoist. Then, you can remove the C-link. Next, attach the hook to the new chain. When you attach the hook, ensure the lower hook and the upper hook are in line with each other. Then, reattach the dead end back to the hoist using a new cotter pin. The second way to rechain your hoist is by using a zip tie or a piece of wire. For this example, we'll use a zip tie. For this method, first, you'll need to remove the cotter pin and anchor pin, as well as the hook. Then, pull the old chain through and out of the hoist. The hoist will need to be in neutral or free chain mode to do this. Next. Attach the zip tie to the new chain, as shown, and feed the chain through the hoist. While doing this, it is important to ensure the upstanding link's weld orientation is facing away from the lift wheel. Continue advancing the chain through until you have a sufficient amount through the hoist. Then, you can remove the zip tie. Next, attach the hook to the new chain and reattach the dead end using a cotter pin. Again, when you attach the hook, Ensure the lower hook and the upper hook are in line with each other. Whether you use a C-link or a zip tie, you will need to do an operational test to ensure the chain and hoist are functioning properly. Once the operational test is complete, you should also complete a static or dynamic load test. For more safety information or to learn more about the coughing LHH, visit www.cmco.com or visit our YouTube channel.